Okay, and we're back. So, apparently, when I stopped it, it was actually apparently the perfect time, because it was exactly 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes and 40 seconds or so. But anyway, uh, so I'm just going to continue this one as if it were a new episode instead of that one, which I just mentioned now, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, what we're going to be working on this time, uh, so I did get the macerator and the generator hooked up. I haven't gotten anything running yet because what we're going to work on now is actually an elect electronic furnace. Uh, so basically all you need for that is an iron furnace, uh, another electronic circuit, and some redstone. So if you throw those in there you get an electric furnace. And we need some copper cable and we're going to hook that up into... Mm, let's go in through the front, I guess. That should work, right? Uh, electric furnace. And boom. Alright, let's get this thing up and running with some coal. I think we're powered. Yeah, we look good. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get something macerating. One thing I do need to make a note of is that depending on how they set up this mod the macerator might make a lot of noise and it does not sound like it is all right good that's definitely a good thing uh the in the original tech it the macerator was one of the most god-awful things on the face of the planet because it was super super loud uh, and luckily in feed the beast it isn't so the next thing we're going to work on is getting a bat box in order to store energy um, which would be this. So, three RE batteries, a copper cable, and wood. Alright. Well, let's attempt to get working on this then. So, three RE batteries, so that takes up all of our copper cable. Uh, redstone. Oh, we need tin. Um, let's just smelt all that up. That's not actually going to be enough, is it? We need two more. <clears throat> it's going to take me a little while to get used to this. I'm still pretty... Well, I'm definitely new at this, actually. Uh, so, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. Other than that, I don't really know what to say. Just bear with it for a little bit, I guess. Um, if you do not know, the macerator, basically what it does is it grinds up uh, ores into... So, every ore creates two dust. So as you can see, this 44 one is going to go up and it's going to make 10 dust now. Uh, and then you smelt the dust into one ingot, so it effectively doubles your output of ores. So that's definitely a good thing to have. So once you have this setup going, you can macerate something and then immediately throw it in the furnace and then take it out and throw it back in your thing. Uh, so that's definitely a good thing. Uh, is the tin yet done yet? Almost. I guess we can start it going. Uh, so copper cabling, redstone, and tin. Alright. Uh, that, that generator is going to be a bit of a pain for right now, because, uh, it runs off coal, which means it's not going to be very efficient. Uh, I completely miscounted. I actually need three more tin. But, uh, it's going to pretty much take out all of our supply of coal pretty quick actually so we're gonna try and hurry up and get to more things such as windmills solar panels things like that eventually we're gonna go to geothermal which is if you don't know it's uh, lava and what you can do is if you find a lava pit you can put it into a I think it's called a magma crucible and it converts it to energy, things like that, and it's a really efficient version, especially if you have access to the nether, because then you can take netherrack and put it in the crucible and it'll convert it to lava, and then you can then use that for energy. So that's definitely something to look forward to at some point, but that's way far down the line. Like, let's see what that even costs to make. Uh, magma, let's see, the crucible. Uh, machine frame, redstone reception coil. 
Uh, yeah, we have to go to the nether first, actually. That's going to be a problem. Uh, gold with iron and glass, that's not bad. So, I guess, basically, we're waiting until we get a diamond pick to get... Uh, what is it? Obsidian. <clears throat> uh, sorry, my voice is going out a little bit. I've recorded several videos today. I keep getting really excited to do this. So, I don't really want to stop. It's extremely fun. If you haven't played Feed the Beast, you really, really have to. Um, it's one of the most fun things I've played. I can't stand not playing, honestly. It, I just want to play all the time. I talked about it at school all today. I was telling people to check it out and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, that's a problem. We appear to have used our last resin on that. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We have some. It's cool. Uh, is it already nighttime? Man, time flies so fast in this. It's ridiculous. Ugh. I don't want bad mobs to spawn out here. Uh, I don't have my sword, which I might want to grab before I go outside again. I haven't had to do a whole lot of mob fighting. I keep just booking it inside. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting thing is how high of a level I am. I haven't fought anything besides a couple of uh, angry zombies that were in a mine shaft. That's so I've gained all those levels from just mining, which is kind of crazy, honestly. Uh, the main thing I already mentioned this before, but the main thing if you didn't watch was that Avatite Mountain appetite. The only thing it's used for, which I've actually found out now, is that it can be used for the um, Forester mod, and it creates some, I think it's called hummus or something like that, and it's used for the Forester mod to create automatic tree chopping down machines so you can have harvesters that work by themselves. So yeah, uh, besides that it's pretty much useless, so I ended up with several stacks of it, wherever it's at, uh, right here, several stacks of it, and I left several stacks there as well because it was just too much to carry around. And so, yeah, um, that one, if what I was getting at there is it gives off a ridiculous amount of XP. That's where the majority of my XP came from. So that's definitely something to look forward or look into, I guess would be a better word for it. One thing I'm noticing is you don't get um, XP from these machines, even though you're smelting and stuff. So that's a little bit of a shame. It's it's not a horrible thing. It only takes you up like one bar of XP when you do it, but it's still kind of nice. I think we're just going to work on getting the bat box set up and then end this episode for sure because this has taken a little bit longer than I expected. Um, if you don't know, the beginning part of Feed the Beast, Tech It, things like this, the beginning is always the slowest part. Uh, getting prepared to uh, build all these machines is really quite a bit of a challenge. Uh, it's a very slow start, so you have to start with the basics like what I'm doing right now, which is a bit of a pain, but, you know, what else can you do? Ah, that really, really sucks. Uh, I'm actually going to jump cut it right here because I don't want to waste too much time, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, basically, I just didn't want to wait for that machine to continue going. Oh, freaking... Alright, well, we're going to have to use uninsulated cable, apparently, because I don't have anything that can... I don't have enough rubber, so, yeah. Hope this doesn't explode in immediately because that would kind of suck. Uh, I know there's a specific way this thing faces. I'm not sure which way that is. So I'm guessing that's input. So we're going to have to put that facing. Oh my god, so many freaking plants. Uh, we're going to need to put that facing this way. And I think that should work if I am correct. So if we throw some coal in here. This thing is not getting anything whatsoever. Oh. Really? 
What did I do wrong? All right, hold on. You stop it. You get off. You get off. You get off. Um. Okay, so let's say the the outputs right there. So we're gonna need. I put that too far away. Output is here. We're gonna need to take the cable and string it up to here and input it. I'm, I'm gonna be careful here. Input it through here, I'm assuming. And now it should work. Correct? Yeah. Okay. 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 Why did it do that? That was weird. I just started getting electrocuted. Huh. Well, that was interesting. Uh, so yeah, here's our initial setup. We have a generator going into a bat box which stores energy, which is now outputting energy to the electric furnace and the macerator. So yeah. First setup is complete. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry this first episode wasn't very exciting. Or this first machine episode wasn't very exciting. I it's I like I said right now it's the basics and it's gonna start picking up pretty quick once we get going. But for right now we're stuck with things like this, like not having enough resin to create insulated wires and things like that. So I'm gonna go get a whole bunch of rubber trees and start planting them all around here so that we can get some rubber going and I'm also going to get uh, a few other machines going that we really need and hopefully this won't keep electrocuting me. I don't know why I did that one time. That was really weird. Uh, maybe I was just standing too close to it and it shocked me or something. That's weird. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and this has been Ethan with Dark Horse Gaming. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff and we appreciate anything we can get. So, yeah, we will see you guys later. Bye.